Hello, welcome to another vlog. And in the words of Peters and Lee, come on in and close the door, metaphorically speaking. And as with last week's ratings topping vlog, I want to front load this with a demand that you simply get over yourself, find some much needed humility and surrender to your obvious need to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Just press the subscribe button, which is basically ringing the doorbell of truth. Yeah! A film that I enjoyed very much this week was from Amazon Prime, and it's not a movie that's particularly cool to like. It's a spy drama thriller in the spirit of John le Carre called All the Old Knives, starring Thandiwi Newton and Chris Pine. Pine plays Henry, the careworn CIA agent who is still haunted by the calamity of eight years previously, when airline hijackers in Vienna killed 100 passengers because they were somehow able to anticipate the security forces every move. Now Henry is told that the CIA had a mole in their ranks that day. So it has become Henry's painful duty to interrogate every one of his colleagues, including Celia, played by Newton, with whom he was having at the time a passionate affair. Celia. It's been a long time. They've opened the books on flight 127. The hijackers had help from inside our station here in Vienna. We need to find out if we had a mole. Vic has me looking into flight 127. So this is an interview. I thought you were here to see if we still had that old spark. To old friends. Oh, you can do better than that. To old lovers. I basically really like the setup and premise of this. The key location is the posh restaurant in Carmel, California, which Henry has chosen for their meeting. And this is where the narrative flashbacks have their starting point. If Celia's answers aren't satisfactory, then Henry has the green light to terminate her with extreme prejudice. But could he possibly go through with that? Will the interrogation or interview or conversation in these glamorous, intimate surroundings, in fact, reignite the old flame. I said that this was a story in the style of John le Carre. It's not based on le Carre, but it does actually have a specifically British dimension. The original novel by Olin Steinhauer was inspired by a BBC TV drama, which had nothing to do with spies, but was about two ex-lovers meeting at a restaurant. How long has it been? Five years? Six years? Ten? How long has it been? Ten years. Eleven? Fifteen. No, it can't be that. Let's settle for twelve. That was the song of lunch, the tense, bittersweet, almost erotic encounter adapted from the narrative poem by Christopher Reed. And it was this mood that inspired All the Old Knives, which interestingly attempts to translate it into a spy thriller context and illicit love affairs are all about subterfuge and betrayal. Maybe you have to like this sort of thing, but it's a very entertaining piece of work. I'm signing off now with the traditional undignified demand for you all to buy my book, The Films That Made Me, an edited selection of my essays and reviews for The Guardian. And here is where it gets really undignified. You can buy a signed, inscribed copy directly from me for the low, low price of £12.50, including UK postage. Just tweet me or post a comment if you're interested. And let's face it, who on earth wouldn't be? Be seeing you.